Love is a taut construct. How do you know how to love? Did you sit, wide-eyed, in front of a large screen, as colourful? Costumed characters hugged one another to a sacherine soundtrack. So this imbued you with the concept of what love was? Did those cartoon characters explain to you what it is to love? Did their exaggerated voice and crazy antics, followed by the moral of the story, teach you what love is? Perhaps you read about it, heard it in songs, and studied the many ways in which this ultimate emotion appears and affects people. Chances are that you have been affected by those hugely affecting passages from the great works dedicated to love. Chances are you have been captured by haunting lyrics and catchy jingles which also profess to tell you what love is. They have all played a part. You may have learned about love from the version churned out by the media of Hollywood romance, dashing heroes, fair maidens, tarts with the golden hearts, the good man who rides to the rescue, the wayward soul saved by love. Love may have been explained to you from the pulpit as a higher love, as something which transcends all earthly manifestations, a love so powerful and complete that it sacrificed its only son in to demonstrate its love for humankind. This godly love is all around you. It touches each and all, and is mighty in its effects. Love may have been learned from furtive fumbles down alleyways, sneaking into bedrooms when so young, the exploration of warm and urgent body parts, accompanied by those ever so sincere protestations of love. A haphazard journey through galloping teen years as nothing and everything made sense all at once. Then again, love might have appeared to you in the form of something small and furry, and unconditional so long as it was fed, love which was loyal, giving, and ever so cute. So many erudite tutors, learned lecturers, and wise proponents of what love is. Love thy neighbour, love yourself. Love is all you need. Woman in love, it must have been love. Crazy little thing called love. To know him is to love him. We found love. How deep is your love? Love is all around us, in us, between us, lifting us up and letting us down. It is everywhere, and you may well have been taught by many of the above, and more besides, as to what love is. However, love most likely will have been taught to you by those who created you, those two people who came together and through their own pleasure created you, two people who decided that they would shoulder the responsibility of creating life, nurturing it, and bringing a new person into the world. Those two people accepted many, many responsibilities from such a decision and act. Chief among them was the responsibility of teaching that person what love is. Through their offices, they have furnished each and every one of us with the notion of what love is, a deep-seated and visceral understanding of this is how love feels, this is what it looks like, this is what it sounds like. This is love. From those two people, more than anything else, we are first grounded in the concept of what love is and how it appears. This grounding lasts a considerable time, and whilst there are other factors to be considered, as I have mentioned above, it is this lesson which is learnt invariably first, and the one lesson which resonates beyond all others. So often 
We are in their hands when it comes to being taught about love. So, what is this taught love? It has so many, many facets. Love is being told never to trust anybody. Love is being made to rewrite the entire essay because of one spelling mistake. Love is being sent to stand outside on a cold winter's day until all three verses of Ode to Autumn are recited correctly. Love is knowing nothing is ever good enough. Love is understanding that someone else knows better than you what is best for you. Love is turning away from the reality. Love is standing straight against a wall for several hours for speaking out of turn. Love is for the weak. Love is being told that when I am gone, nobody else will look out for you. Love is succeeding. Love is building a wall as high as possible. Love is trying until it hurts and gaining that final, curt nod of approval. Love is being seen and not heard. Love is fulfilling your potential and securing that legacy. Love is hurting you even though it hurts me, but someone in this household has to do it and it won't be him, will it? Love is reading to yourself than being read to. Love is living in the shadows and hoping not to be noticed. Love is being the best. Love is the preserve of the powerful. Love is being denied birthday party because the other children are too stupid. Love is being undermined in order to prevent conceit. Love is a begrudged recognition and the injunction to try harder, go further, climb higher, run faster, study longer. Love is burning your hand but not crying. Love is don't tell anybody about our secret. Love is a righteous beating. Love is being distant and pretending things never happened. Love is being sent away. Love is not being told. Love is splendid isolation. Love was taught this way.